Hello guys, welcome back to my beautiful space. This is Nomad Saka. I'm so happy to be here today. It has been a while. Yeah, it has been almost two weeks. I'm not sure, but almost two weeks without me uploading. And uh, I know many, many of you have been concerned. But yeah, I've, I've just been held up somewhere doing what I do best, which is... Uh, videography yeah so i've been engaged in a lot of things and uh, <clears throat> yeah so today i just want to talk about my general view on youtube what i think about youtube what i think about uh like so far how is it is taking me you know and uh let's discuss let's talk because uh we have at least something to talk about so i just wanted to just inform you guys that uh, of late it has been challenging for me when it comes to uploading frequently i've been having challenges you know doing that yeah but you know it's life sometimes you feel you are down you feel like you want to quit you feel like a lot is happening and uh Sometimes, you know, you have to call yourself back to the drawing board and uh, analyze everything, you know. You go analyze everything, uh, try to, you know, figure out what is not working and why. A lot of things, but for me, you know, I just joined, uh, I joined YouTube because I wanted to showcase what I do on a daily basis and... Uh, I really want, I was really doing it for fun when I travel, you know, most of the time when I have my friends around, I tell them, you know, I was in this place and this happened. So the best thing is through showing them in video form, you know, uh, I still have friends who watch me. Most of the friends, like uh, up to now, the people who watch me are my close friends. And they, when we meet, they normally, I, I normally know because they normally tell me details that only people who have watched my video can know. So most of the time when I meet them, they tell me, man, hey, I didn't know you guys are, are like eight siblings or something like that, you know? Those are details that I, I, I normally put inside my videos. So that's how I know people watch. And those people are my close friends. And that was the purpose. So I'd say I'm serving the purpose. <laughs> yeah, my videos are serving the purpose. Uh, I won't lie to you, you know, it's always disappointing when you feel like uh, your content is not taking the right direction, you know. We have this notion that, you know, for you to be deemed successful or your channel to be deemed successful, we need to see that consistency, you know. We need to create that flow slowly by slowly. And we need to at least get some viewers immediately you've uploaded your video. It comes with a lot of challenges, you know. But uh, I guess one thing is, it's all about acceptance. Yeah, so if you accept what you get and maybe work on it, you can get a different result. Yeah, of late I've been very busy. My sister was joining university. She wants to be a teacher. For those who watched my previous video, you saw her. She's known as Bridget. Yeah, she is pursuing education in arts and uh, computer so uh, we, uh, the other week i went to kirinyaga is it kirinyaga no no no, no it's not kirinyaga these two names they're confusing me every time let me remember it's called uh, uh karatina Karat yeah she's joining karatina university <coughs> and they're supposed to uh they're supposed to report next week so at the moment we are just fixing school fee you know at the moment she's under 18 she cannot apply for help and uh, there is this other sponsorship that uh, we are looking forward to and we're waiting for the results today so we'll see what's happening because hey the fee are over the roof my friends yeah people are really struggling paying those fee i don't know if anybody will all of the people will be able to pay that amount because you can imagine 
for a semester people used to pay 15,000 20,000 maximum nowadays you are being told you should pay a thousand dollars for a semester for three months three four months semester that's crazy man yeah? and you know the economy right now is on the roof man everybody's struggling to survive and they're even coming up with this idea of paying a thousand dollars plus yeah? that's crazy and the funny thing is that they want it like they want the whole of it they don't want you to be paying it in bits you know they just want you to clear the fee before they you get enrolled and you know at the moment this is something that uh came abruptly we were not expecting this and uh i won't lie to you guys we are taking a hit from from that and uh we are really struggling we just want to make sure that we pay the amount on time uh, next week is around the corner <laughs> yeah yeah so let's just wait and uh see what we will do because that's life so she's going to, to pursue education in arts and uh, i don't know she said that uh, she or oh, she was having second thoughts because you know in kenya the system will choose for you what to what to do you know you'll go choose a university but now the system will be the one choosing for you what to pursue which is a bit weird you know me i don't understand this system at all but all in all she can be able to change her course so we went there and we talked to the 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 people there and they told us they gave us all the courses that they they pro, they provide but my sister was not yeah, happy <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know what we will do, but yeah, maybe she can just go there, have some knowledge, you know. At least when she is out here, she can be able to. She can be able to do some other things, or maybe she can even pursue the uh, whatever she is studying with passion. Maybe she'll grow passion over the time, but I'm not sure. But for her, she was just she wanted to do computer. But they told her that they don't offer computer in arts. They only offer it in sciences when you're doing education in sciences. So they just told her that uh, for her to do the uh, to do computer as a, as a pack as a package uh, in arts will be impossible. But when she's doing it with the, like in sciences, it's okay. And for her, she was not taking it so. I hope that she'll be she'll be contented with whatever she'll get. Yeah. Because after all it's life man and this is Kenya. This is not first world country like any other first world country that we know. Yeah. So you have to go by the book. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you don't have money. <laughs> so guys, uh, back to the topic. I have not been uploading frequently because I was uh, I had a lot on my I like I was like doing a lot one of them uh making sure that my sister goes to school and uh, also I was just fixing some things you know I told you guys that I'm supposed to go to the village to go and live in the village <clears throat> so let me just tell you what I wanted to go and do there I wanted to venture into agriculture and uh, to be specific I wanted to do goat farming yeah so there's this bo boar goat I don't know if you guys know it boar is it boar or boar or whatever so I was doing some research about the boar goat and uh, according to statistics or according to professionals they were telling us to at least uh, the we can start with 10 goats you know yeah we can start with 10 goats so that at least we can build it like the empire the goat empire slow by slow because it will take two years to get more than 200 goats when you start with 10 and it's a good number and also you see it's a profitable job yeah at, uh, back home i don't have a land but uh, uh, I'm, I'll I'll go start with my father's land, 
Yeah, because you know, uh, he is uh, he's not in the village. He's still here in Nairobi, so he don't farm. He don't do anything. <clears throat> so meanwhile, I just want to go there and utilize the farm. Yeah, so I'll just go uh, build some shed, you know, and uh, start my job. And now the the feeds are. Uh, uh, I also need to, you know, plant the feeds have my own feeds because buying feeds will be very expensive and another thing I have to employ someone who will be looking after this goats while I'm not around because you see I, I'll not be like home completely I need to be going uh, coming back to Nairobi to run some few errands and doing some few few jobs so that I can at least finance the project while it it, it grows yeah, we don't have we don't just transition like that we just have to make sure that the the transition is soft and uh, everything operates so when maybe the got business booms i can now go there a hundred percent but at the moment we have to take it step by step yeah so that's the plan and uh, they normally say that you should not share your plans until you've done what until you've uh, implemented them but all in all, man, me, I believe in myself. I believe in, I believe in bringing life to my words, you know? So that's not an issue for me. That's not, that's not an issue. So that's my plan. If anyone has any idea about goat farming, you can be able to assist me. You can be able to guide me because you see most of the people there, they don't know what they are doing. They just want, to, they just want you to pay some small fee for them to cash out. But they are not giving you the exact thing. No, they're just telling you what you want to hear. So that's another challenge that I'm 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 facing. So if there's somebody in, uh, kindly reach me out uh, on my Instagram or uh, you have, uh, my number is down there on the description. Just let me know so that at least I can learn some few things. And also I was advised by somebody to just go visit other goat farms. And learn from you know from them and what they've been able to do and may I I should also be able to uh, know the challenges that they go through while doing that job so those are the things that I'm at the moment working towards like knowing everything and then maybe from there I'll go back to my daily routine you know so at the moment I'm just up and down working out things and maybe if 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 i'm stable enough everything will be awesome so guys that that's what has been happening yeah so <clears throat> some questions below i just want to know what you think about this idea if you think it's a good one just let me know yeah mm -hmm. it has been a minute man it has been a minute for sky i know you you added me in a group what's up it was it instagram yeah but i've not been able to i've not been active i've not been active because you know i don't even have my other phone i, I misplaced it guys so for me to go to instagram or facebook i need to use my laptop which is there and i don't carry it with me most of the time so this is my laptop guys you see so i'm using my fingerprints to open yeah so most of the time this is what i use when i'm when i don't when i'm not working on any project but when i'm working on a big project i use my workstation over there yeah so at the moment this is what i use as you can see this is the back back door of my youtube channel I have 4,303 subscribers. My videos are here. They're not getting enough views than before, but it's okay. We will get to there. We'll fix that very soon. Yeah. We will fix that very soon. It's all about consistency, man. But I thank God everything is going as planned, man. So when I've finished with the project now i can be able to 
get back to you fully. The good thing is that I normally reply to all the comments. All, all the comments. Yeah. I always reply to all the comments, even for Sky, your last comment, ja, I've just, uh, I've just liked it now, you told me nice intro by the way, guys tell me about my intro man. My name is Saka, but you can call me Nomad Saka, and I'm here to share with you the magic and wonders of Nairobi City. This beautiful city holds a special place in my heart and I can't wait to show you why. Let's go. So guys, give me life. You see, I'm really trying. I'm really, really trying. I'm really doing my best. And uh, without forgetting, I wanted to show you guys some few things that I've been, I've been able to achieve over the past two weeks. I have three songs that I that I directed that are out there they have already been released I just wanted to you know support the musicians by creating awareness and telling you guys that they have new music you should go check number one we have Juma Vince my number one gospel artist it has been a minute since I saw him because even him we've not been able to link due to unavoidable circumstances yeah being busy so she has this song that we did you even saw the behind the scene guys uh, it's now uh, 3000 views two weeks ago you can go check him out juma vince he's doing an amazing job juma vince has been able to you know uh, give us some beautiful tune over there kindly go check juma vince let me show you the account this is the account name. Let me zoom it. You know, I have a zoom here. Yeah. So, go search Juma Vince. The song is known as Gina, J I N A, by Juma Vince. This is the account down here, Juma Vince. He has 2,950 2, 9, subscribers. So, kindly go check him out, support him, and everything will be. All right, all right, Norma, Norma, this is Norma Saka, man. And uh, without forgetting, let me take you to another friend of mine who is also a friend to Juma Vince. He's known as Nehema, Nehema Music. What's Nehema in, 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 uh, what's Nehema in English, man? Tell us down below, Nehema. <laughs> I won't say that I'm a slow learner, but I, I, I don't cram things. I don't <laughs> things that are not important. I don't know. Is I'm not saying that the song is not important, but you know there are things that I, I prioritize. I don't just cram everything like any other person. So I don't know if it's normal or yeah. me. I'm an easy guy, man. <laughs> I'm an easy guy. So when you go to Neema, this is his channel. It's known as Neema Music. That's it, Neema Music. He's a new artist. He has 216 subscribers. 216. Yeah, so he's been doing an amazing job, guys. He's been doing it. He's been killing it. Trust me. So, Neema uh, has new music. The music is not. Let me show you the music. Neema Music. <laughs> yeah, so that's the song directed by yours truly, Mr. Norman Saka. And I don't know, guys, have you noticed eh? I'm a little bit big? Eh? I'm adding some weight, which I'm really careful about. I just don't want to bust. I just don't want to be, you know, <laughs> overweight. <laughs> yeah, so you know, mostly in Africa, when you're adding weight, people think that you are you are doing okay. Sometimes weight might be dangerous. So in Kenya, not only in Kenya, in Africa, people tend to think that when you are gaining weight, then you are not, you are healthy, which is very wrong. Eh? That's very wrong, man. 
last but not least, I just wanna <coughs> sorry for that. Last but not least, I just wanna uh, show you another new artist that I've started working with. This is this is our first project with him, though he has been doing some other projects with other directors. But this is the first project that I did with him. He's known as Devard Loud. Let me show you. Devard Loud. Yeah, this is a, a very beautiful piece. Let me show you the artist first. Uh, this is the channel, guys. Devard Loud or Catapult Boy. Catapult Boy. He has 700 subscribers. And he has six videos so far. So let me show you. Oh, and I'm yawning. I don't. I think I'm sleep. I just feel sleepy. All right. So that's the artist over there. We did this. We shot this at. Uh, it was as Limuru. Muru is. Uh, not in Nairobi. So we show this in the movie. So go check it out. It's a good piece, guys. I know you're going to love it. It's all about love. It's all about affection, you know. So this is the song. Let me show you. Directed by US Truly, Mr. Nomad Saka. Yeah, I think I'm going back to be a full-time uh, music video director for a while yeah so this is the song known as Lala the word loud uh, that's the account name that's the song name and uh, Lala the word loud kindly go support him and uh, remind him that you are from Nomad Circus space uh, I shot this one with my GoPro this scene that's my GoPro I shot it with my GoPro they say the tool doesn't matter the idea is what matters that's what's up so so far he has gained uh, he has gained uh, 3,000 subscribe I mean 3,000 views in three days yeah, he's doing good eh? he's doing good kindly go support him He's my new guy. I'll be doing his most of his projects, and uh, yeah, let's support him. He's doing a good music now, guys. The funny thing that you don't know, I don't shoot something that I'm not that is not well done. I'm talking about music. I'm talking about the packaging from the artist and the producer, the audio producer. I always turn down a lot of these music videos. I mean, the, this project that they bring to me. I must make sure that you are doing a good job in terms of um, music production and uh, the composition. I don't just shoot music because most of it uh, I put my, my my skills, I put what I get, I got, you know. So I prefer doing something clean from somebody who knows what he's doing. So most of the time I turn down a lot of, you know, clients, which is always not good for business but it's good for me it's good for my reputation it's good for the future maybe in future i'll be able to you know have a good profile or a good reputation so i just don't do music for the money if you've been following me you know i'm, a, I'm not that guy who looks for like uh, i don't worship money i'm always there to make a change i'm always there to be part of the positivity yeah so most of the time when they bring for me some um, low quality music i turn it down but not in a bad way i normally advise them on what to do and what to improve which is which is always very good yeah so most of the time i always go to i, I always meet these people who are very talented with a good out with a good audio these people i normally shoot them even for free yeah and that's what I feel like I'm when I do it for free and it's good I feel like I'm just doing the right thing so that's what's up so those are the three guys that I've been working with over the past uh, like the this month that has been the my main project and they're out at the moment I don't have any other project <coughs> hmm. 
I'm thinking of, you know, ah, no, no, I have one project for my one and only King Mocha. You guys remember King Mocha? Yeah, go check him out. King M O W K E R. I'm doing his music very soon and uh, it's going to be lit. One thing I love about King Mocha is always ready to do anything to get a good visual. So, guys, see you soon. We are going to kill, we are going to murder. Yeah, so that's what's up. It has been really, it has been awesome. Thank you for always supporting me, guys. Thank you for being there. Thank you for being beside me. No matter what season, no matter what time. At the moment, I'm not that uh, frequent, but you just have to bear with me, guys. Uh, I'll be back soon. I know there's a time I'll, I'll be doing videos almost even twice a day. Yeah, so at the moment, let me just stabilize, you know, in Nairobi, you have to be very stable. Any wrong move, you are down. And uh, I cannot allow to be down here in the city because I don't have anybody to go to, you know. So I love to push until something happens. Push. Pray until something happens. Push. All right, guys. Thank you for always being there. I really enjoy those people who give my video a like. I really appreciate your effort. I really thank uh, those people who encouraged me to continue doing this. Like, guys, uh, a week ago I was feeling like I should just do away with YouTube. But, you know, I met this friend of mine and he told me he's been watching my videos. And it just put me right in the tracks again. But it's not like I was going to, you know, uh, leave YouTube, but I just wanted the, the, the morale, the momentum. Sometimes when you put a video out there and it gets like two likes, you know, you feel, you feel like people are not even concerned with what you do. So most of the time, that's why I urge you guys, your like is more important, not only for the algorithm, but to, you know, to give me morale that people like what I do to just motivate me yeah so kindly guys but just for your information <laughs> i am not quitting youtube anytime soon i might delay i might i might not be uploading on time but i'm not quitting youtube that's for sure yeah keep that in mind <laughs> yeah so thank you guys for always being there this is nomad saka i'm so tired i'm from a place known as makadara the place that I showed you the other time where my dad lives. And uh, for those who didn't watch that video because it, it has less than 100 views, kindly guys, go check it out. And leave a comment there that this video direct redirected you to that video. I'll be so pleased, guys. Kindly go check it out. And without wasting your time, bye-bye.